Uh, believe it or not, this will be for both my classes. Um, technology and performance, performance technology, where we are designing structures, we're learning 3D modeling, we're using SketchUp or sketching, and doing code work, doing DAWs, audio workshops, finding a kinesthetic blend between the senses, and placing a container car theater within a setting. We'll do some 3D printing. Um, it's a good 103, THR 103 comprehensive course on what is out there in terms of performance and technology. We are going to work with live dancers and do some modern dancers, very wonderful, capable people. And we are um, doing, oops, sorry, I didn't put float on this. Um, and we are doing um, social VR, amongst other things. If you haven't guessed it by now, Professor Baldwin loves scrambling it up. Okay, um, hybridity is where it's at. We went through the book um, Dream Cities, and um, this is not in any order. We talked about the, the seven physiognomies. This is particular one is on um, malls, uh, Mall of America, my hometown, Minneapolis. Um, what, what theoretical approach to each is? And we're going to try to use SketchUp in both classes to um, create um, sort of a, a re repetition of the aesthetics and the usefulness of each of these cities. One ingredient in the design brief, one important ingredient in urbanism and digital narratives after COVID. Uh, um, we are going to use COVID as a warning shot to the human race, and we are purposely approaching this concept of the permaculture city, at least permaculture sprawl, so that these living areas do become agrarian, with the major fact that it takes 10 calories of petroleum to bring in one calorie of food. So the people have to live near the food. We love the cosmopolitan sense of cities, cities of strangers, cities of, of ideas, cities of diversity with a capital D meaning boots on the ground diversity, um, meeting, exchanging ideas, dating, mixing gene pools, all that exciting stuff. Cities of lifestyle, and then using um, this notion that cities, 6,000 years old, the internet, maybe 50 years old, believe it or not, DARPA, uh, defense, on the event that all American cities would be incinerated in a nuclear war, there had to be a decentralized notion of um, what would life be after the apocalypse of all cities in nuclear destruction. Interesting, interesting sibling rivalry here between cities and the internet. Um, both have the same sort of sibling sort of... Um, competition. Um, internet wants to chew away at cities, specifically after what we saw during COVID. Oh, hell, we can zoom, man. We can continue our work. Um, cities are places of jobs, but also an important factor, we cannot eat our PowerPoints. We cannot eat our keynote reports. We cannot push papers ad infinitum. We need food, water, clothing, love, embodiment. So this is a, an attack using SketchUp to approach this means of creation. Part of our lab for urbanism after COVID, part of our lab for performance and technology. So let's just go over eyewash here. The, um, I photographed from the book so there it's out of order. Here is the notion of monument city, certainly Lincoln Center was. Um, this is slab cities out of um, the modernist, kind of elitist modernist ideas of um, Le Col Broussier. Uh, people should not live in dank little... Um, he said he was a state socialist, maybe even communist, but there's 
a type of elitism in this and certainly in the Bauhaus that to cleanse the people, the workers, and the unemployed, you must order their space. Contrast that to the favelas of, of Rio and Brazil in general. Um, little hamster hutches. Um, I lived in one in Asia. Interesting. A couple times in Singapore and in Seoul. Actually found it quite a happy space. Tiny, tiny little space, but um, my needs are my apartment dwellings are sort of a base camp for further adventures. In the world here at Stony Brook, two hours away by commute, um, I consider life a movable feast. So living in a hamster hutch is not bad for me, would be bad for others. There were certain rebellions, the Pruitt Ego, um, designing for underserved communities, people of color, this sort of patrician sense, elitist sense continued. Hell, they'll love these things. And they became rife with crime. No one liked it. Uh, there's continued debate about that. Uh, they are the embodiment of modernity, fraternity, egalite, liberté, which means a reduction down to the lowest common denominator. We see that in the modern post-COVID view of bureaucracy, which has emerged furiously out of COVID, I contend. And in general, it's open for debate. Um, these are uh, 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 sightings of the suburbs, the garden city, the comprehensive city using Robert A. M. Stern Design This and Love Celebration Florida, famously put inside uh, that movie, The Truman Show, um, kind of a Disneyland aspect of, of the non-agrarian rural city. Could be feature, importantly, in your DIY utopias, but it could also be stupid and kitsch. Um, homesteads coming out of that, the sprawl. What if we had to deal with the sprawl leaving this? Um, zoom and telephony aspects of design. Certainly this um, course on YouTube would tell us that um, it has happened and we go further. Uh, Russia, former Soviet Union, the worker housings. Again, this is out of uh, corals, uh, new urbanism, uh, code-controlled architecture, groups of buildings, entire communities. Um, yeah, the Sweden, England, United States, Hong Kong, new approaches to uh, contrasting to the hamster hutches of modernity. Um, Broadacre City, Frank Lloyd Wright, kind of his quasi- he was a secularist, but he grew up in a utopian, with a utopian community in Spring Green. His uncle or grandfather was a minister, utopian minister, so he did borrow a lot from the English arts and crafts movement. Le Corbusier joked that he was the greatest architect of the last century, meaning the 19th century, um, to piss him off. Broadacre City is a spread out city we see spreading out ironically two siblings cities and internet internet finally made this possible to spread out so we saw a lot of these people during covid heading out of town together to go upstate and returning in other dissolution of the dyad what was the psychological cause for that uh don't know probably many features um the Dream Cities, um, Seaside, Florida, again in the Truman Show, out of order, just rolling this by your eyes to get an idea. Housing development, Florida, boo, suburbs, boo, but they were a feature of post-war dividends after fighting in World War II, the dividends of the male GI uh, risking their lives, the dividends of war. Um, is to adopt, accept a couple things. Uh, rigid gender, cisgender narratives, and um, the Cold War. <laughs> the, um, the sort of stance, contrived stance, it was a type of extortion. 
by Americans and by Communist Soviet Union as the two superpowers left after the war. There were some real aspects of a hot war starting, but Cold War, we, we cannot forget, were uh, certain ways, ways of keeping individuals in place. Uh, hey man, at any moment you could be incinerated. There was a, you know, I grew up as a kid under this. People forget it, and by the way, it has not left. Um, it was an ideological stance, McCarthy era um, subcultures, um, right wing cultures attack what they thought was Red Scare, beatniks being attacked by no one because they were a subculture, hippie subculture. Uh, 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 disagreement with the Vietnam War up to 90% of the populist conservative Nixon looked for the silent majority who were behind basically the ending the domino theory of, of warfare of, of um, this battle between a neoliberal economy democratic capitalism as embodied by America and um, uh, uh, state socialism as embodied by Soviet Union and China. Um, the, the world was fraught with proxy wars, ideological wars, um, to which hot wars started. Vietnam, Korea, wars of decolonization in Africa. Uh, South America, don't we forget, Chile under Nixon and uh, Kissinger. They dismantled the um, Allende government and put Pinochet in a very, very criminal act of actually used a fighter plane to attack the presidential palace so forth um, sometimes slabs look good as in the United Nations sort of representing this democracy through all through order but is the human animal orderly um, we have many contending um, sty town Stuyvesant down lower bottom there uh, United Habitat Berlin um, whole cities in Berlin were rebuilt on the the modernist Bauhaus Corbusier model. You go to modern Berlin, it looks like all boxes. They're elegant boxes, um, but they're boxes. Um, what they're avoiding is um, L.A. as one big sprawled suburb, non-agricultural use of land. Boo, bad idea. We're going to take a stab at using it agriculturally. Slabs, um, tall buildings, they were apart from other buildings, city plans are regular, order, 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 is democracy, right? Maybe. Um, that's really kind of an effete Northern European view at ordering the human spatial sensibilities, the verb sensibilities of other ethnicities, other races. Um, slabs in Hong Kong, slabs in Singapore, I lived in one, uh, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, slabs, favorite building of communists and capitalists alike. Wow, how could that happen? Ideologically, they were opposed, right? In many senses, not. Um, I lived in Singapore, basically a uh, neoliberal community, a, a city with fascistic elements, um, but this notion of state socialism is also present. 